in this video we are going to create an animation on adobe photoshop which is like this let me play this you can find out this is actually an animation a character is walking in the 2d software in 2d form in the frame by frame animation furthermore you can check this out this animation this boy is actually skating and just fell down so I have already created these two kinds of animation. Furthermore, I'm gonna create with this cartoons animation. So you can download this from the Google. Easily you can find out cartoon character walk cycle or maybe you can find out character walk cycle. So you can find out these kind of a thing. There's different kinds of positions, walking cycles, running cycles. You can find out. So let's create this. I have these pictures I have actually downloaded but this is what is this? this is called timeline from where you can find out timeline you can go to the windows and just select timeline suppose if I'm going to select this one so it will disappear automatically but I need the timeline that's why I'm just going to import my timeline here from the windows this is but right now I'm not going to take this one I have only an image so I just need to find out the size of this image which was 1400 pixels wow that's perfect uh, so I just need to take this thing out new file or maybe I'm not gonna take the high size I'm just gonna take uh, half HD size 1280 or maybe 720 pixels resolution 100 is just okay one more thing I'm just going to do this which is the color the same color I'm going to apply on this canvas this one now I need to take out the center point of my canvas suppose it's 1 to 12 something so it's for example I'm just going to take this my center point this one and now I need to take out these character frame by frame on that canvas so just make a selection proper selection and import the character here so I just need to make the current position properly so I'm just gonna take the grid and click here and now I just need to set this for size of this so the turn is for second frame import here Sorry, folks. Fine. So I have this frame and this. Frame. The same purpose I'm going to do with the other stuff. Now, as you can see, I have all the frames which I have just copied here and paste it here you can find out these all frame these 10 frames i have already this one this one this one this 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 and this so what i'm going to do i'm just going to press shift and select the all layers press ctrl p and increase the size of this character now the next step is this just to create the animation so the same process i'm going to do i'm just going to go to the windows select timeline and i have this timeline right now so what am i going to do just create a video timeline click on it perfect i have this timeline but uh, these user interface normally used in the other software is like Adobe After Effects or maybe the Flash. So I don't need this kind of a user interface of timeline. So I'm just going to click here on this button, these three dots, which is called convert to frame animation because we have different frames. So we need to have frame animation. Just click on it so you can find out the frame. Now, the next step is you can count the layers. We have 10 layers. So it means I just need to take 10 duplicates of this frame before that we need to set the time 
click on it and I'm just gonna select 0.2 seconds. It is actually the difference of timing that how much time will it take to take next step. So 0.2 second is enough. I just need to take the duplicates. How many duplicates? 10 duplicates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So the next step is this. I need to select the frame 1. Select only layer 1. Second frame. Select second layer. Switch off first layer. Third frame. Select third layer. Switch off first layer. The same thing is this. Fourth frame. Fourth layer and switch off first layer. Fifth layer. Select fifth layer and switch off one layer. Sixth layer, select sixth layer and switch off first layer. Seven, seven layer, switch off this one. Eight, eight layer and switch off this one. Nine, nine layer and switch off first. And the ten, ten layer, switch off the first. So I have different frame with different positions the next step which is the last step is that we need to play in the animation form so I can easily play with this play button but furthermore I need to add something which is called once once actually is a looping selection either you want to play just one time you want to play three times or you want to play forever so I am going to select forever and now if I will play so you can find out this is the proper animation that the character is walking. So one more thing so I have already added in this animation you can see the position of a character. So this thing is it can be a little bit complicated in this video but don't worry just select the frame 1 and give the position like this select frame 2 give the position something further more behind of it okay select the frame 3 and little bit backward select 4 select 5 okay select 6 little bit forward select 7 more eight some more as well nine and ten like so i need to play with this so guys i hope you like this video tutorial with the creating of beautiful animation in adobe photoshop Furthermore, if you guys have any questions, so you can comment below in the description or maybe I'm going to give the link of this image in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this. And please subscribe, Hive Production and press the bell icon so I can give you some more tutorials about this. Thank you so much.